This is a 2020 Harley Davidson Livewire. It has a 15.4 kilowatt hour battery pack right here. Cooling fans has somehow air that goes through the battery pack too to keep it cool. It's air cooled, not liquid cooled. This is the motor. Makes a uh, interesting sound while going. Sounds a lot like a Star Wars speeder bike. It has adjustable shocks front and rear. So the screen is a touch screen. Obviously it's connected to my phone right now. You hit the little gear to change settings, your ride modes. You have the different ride modes, rain, range, sport, and road. And then you have three custom modes that you, where you can select the different customization options. All right. Custom A, I have everything maxed out. I was just playing around with it. Haven't really done anything with this bike yet. Appearance, digital speedometer or analog speedometer, brightness settings, and then if it auto dims. Obviously system settings or Bluetooth. This is where you go to pair your phone. Your clock, 24 hour clock, and then you can manually set it or you can sync it to the phone. This localization is where you go to change your language and units. There's quite a few different lang eh, not really that many languages, but enough. And then units, miles to kilometers, Fahrenheit to Celsius. And about, I'm not sure if you can do that or not. I'll have to look. even the Chevrolet Bolt I had, you could do that stuff. All right, to start the bike, put the kickstand up. It even gives you nice little things. And you press and hold, and now the bike's on. So, you hear the nice little whine of the fan. So like I said, if you go right, it gives you your modes. Go right again, how much power you're using. Your projected ranges, 149 is the max based off of previous riding. And if I were to do a little bit better than how it's been ridden. And 43 is worst case scenario, according to the battery pack. We're at 99%, about 128 watt hours a mile. Battery pack's pretty cool right now. Another display that gives you your battery temperature, your inverter temperature, and your motor temperature. We can play music. To change modes, you just select mode. Just keep selecting it and then when you get to the mode you want, you just leave it there and it will select. Of course, the leaf is the eco mode. All right? So, press left. Gives you your odometer and trips. Left again and it's blank. All right. Turn signals operate by just pressing. The bike will turn off the turn signal after a turn, but depends on how sharp and how steep the turn is. Brights, flash to pass, emergency flashers. I will cover the proper pre-ride sequence here in a later video. And I will also go through all the things that are covered in the owner's manual. But this pulls out and the seat pops up, right? There's your charger. Supposedly, all this 
just goes ahead and goes around. I've got it backwards evidently. So I'm gonna fix that. These are your D-ring locks for your helmets. So you wanna lock your helmet to your bike. Gotta pop the seat, put the D-ring right there, close it, and then lock it there. This is where I would take this out and give you my feedback on how it rides. However, Air Force. I will catch you all later.